Hey everybody, it's Jeremy here and I'm doing a video today on why I no longer carry a Leatherman tool on my belt. Now for years, I carried every day my Maglite and my Leatherman on my belt. And I've had a lot of good luck with Leatherman tools. They're a great quality tool, they're made in the USA. This one is a Leatherman Wave. I've had the Leatherman Core and the Super Tool 300 and you know, just other Leathermans as I've lost them and what things like that. But I, I've, I've done away with it. I still keep it in my toolbox or in my glove box of my, of my truck or my car. Uh, they're handy for that, but I'm no longer carrying it and I'm gonna talk about why. Now, the first thing that you like about a Leatherman, probably the biggest selling feature on it is obviously the pliers portion of it. And what I found was while the pliers are handy, you know, especially maybe for removing a cotter pin like this or something like that, you can do a lot of little work with them and bend stuff easily and whatnot. When it came to actually being on the homestead, um, I have a 40 acre homestead here in Maine that I, I'm always working on there with my tractor and whatnot. If I had to do something on an implement or, or with the tractor itself, the Leatherman pliers, are, they're not really big enough to turn larger fasteners and, and you don't have the leverage because you're, you're open so far on the handles. And even on some of the smaller stuff, you just still, I never felt like I had the good leverage on it. So what I did was I started, I took this off of my belt and I started throwing a pair of Nipex in my back pocket of my pants on my left rear pocket. And of course, when you look at these, they're much different. This is a set of pliers, and these are pliers, but they have a different design. These are more like a needle nose style. They do have the cutters, which you lose with the Nipex, but <clears throat> for what I was doing, just about everything that I needed to do, I could do better with the Nipex. I can get more leverage on things when I'm working. Um, I can adjust to much larger things than I could ever do with the Leatherman. And even with the small stuff, I could grab a hold of, of small things and I can pinch them or bend things like that, remove cotter pins or whatever. Now, let's say I was working on this distributor. I would, sometimes I'd be out in, you know, like in my buggy or something. And if I wanted to work on, I needed to take something off a distributor or something that had a small screw. I found that I, a lot of times I wasn't using the screwdriver in the Leatherman because I didn't really have much leverage anyway. So I'd end up trying to do like, you know, use suppliers like this. And it wasn't always, you didn't always get as much leverage. And then I found that with these, I could pinch it sometimes even in different ways than with the Leatherman and just get more leverage. And it kind of replaced me using the screwdriver a lot of times or for, you know, tightening the clamp. Even if I'm going quote unquote the wrong way with the tool, I still have enough leverage biting it. If I couldn't get on it the proper way like this, I could still have enough leverage to even start it in the wrong direction. Whereas the Leatherman, I never could really get onto things really good uh, with what style of work that I was doing. So the ply for the pliers, I switched over to Nipex. Now the other thing, obviously, that makes the Leatherman nice is you have a knife or series of knives on it. And what I was finding with that is <clears throat> this is a good knife for you know, opening up boxes or, you know, doing some really light knife work, but it really was never heavy duty enough if I really needed to do some real knife work. So what I found, what I ended up doing to replace the knife is instead of having the uh, Leatherman tool on my belt, I just switched over to a Buck 110. And it's also made in America, but you get a much bigger knife, a more rugged knife, you know, this is a lot more support you can really, you know, if you got to cut something really hard or that's really taking a lot of leverage or whatever, you can just do it so much better with the 110. So that's basically why I've discontinued using my Leatherman. Now, I still keep it on hand because they're very handy and it's a good American-made product with a great warranty. However, I feel like by switching over to these three tools on my belt instead of these two, I can do more... Uh, of the heavier duty style work that I'm normally doing on my homestead. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments if you carry a Leatherman 
or ha have you stuck with it? Have you done away with it? What do you think about Nipex and the Buck 110? Uh, tell me what you think about mag lights and don't forget to subscribe and share these videos. Thanks for watching.